Welcome to Whole Body Therapies. I'm Coach Candice, and this is a workout for people who have low back pain. And hopefully this workout done a couple of times a week will help to repair your back, strengthen your back and relieve some of that pain. Just a little bit about back health before we start. Make sure that you're drinking enough water every day. Try to get a good quality sleep. Think about your posture throughout the day. Changing positions while you're at work, great idea. Remembering to try to stay away from too much sugar or chemicals in your food throughout the day, which can cause inflammation in the body and of course will irritate your back. Do the stretching that's available with these videos. And I also have other just stretching sessions on my channel. So please have a look at the stretches. They will help you repair from your and recover from your workouts faster. They will help you have a safer workout. And even just during throughout the day, you won't be injuring yourself as often. And it will decrease hopefully and maybe even eliminate pain. Also think about taking the time to do the meditations that I have on my channel at the end of this workout because it is linked also to your back pain. It will help your posture. It will help repair and restore physically and mentally your body. It will help oxygenate the body and it could even decrease your perception of stress, depression, anxiety. So let's begin. Beginning with a warm up. Let's warm up the joints. Let's warm up the muscles. Let's get the circulatory system going and get our brain in the right headspace. So we're going to begin with a wide sumo squat, knees pulling open, hips back, and then we're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together, rise up, side stretch. Good. Squeezing those shoulder blades together as we rise the arms away from the body. Good. Breathing in and out. Nice and easy. In and out. In and out. Option to pull that bottom arm in front of you for some core work being very deliberate here. If your knees are caving in, bring your knees closer together. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Turning or you can stay facing forward. I'm going to turn sideways. Feet are hip distance apart. We're going to push the hips back. Reach long, but pull the shoulders into their sockets, keeping the elbows straight. Okay. So we pull back, we open the arms and chest, and lower and release. If you want to add a deadlift at the top, feel free. You'll get to squeeze those glutes, open, close, and you can rise, or you can just stay bent over and have just a little bit of respite here and release. Pull the belly button in. You'll hear me say this a whole lot today, but as we bend over, especially, you really want to hold the low abs in to support the back and get a stronger core. So we're building habits here that we want to have all throughout the day, not just when we're exercising. Breathing in, breathing out. Last one, open and Open the chest when you open the arms, and then pull the belly in and roll through the spine to come up when you've got low back issues. Next, we're coming into a front lunge. Nice 90 degree bend in both knees. Knee is over the ankle, not the toes. We reach to the side in a twist, and then we grab the shoulder and we come back. See if we can do a little faster, or at least flow a little bit more. We step, we twist, we grabbed to stretch through the back of the shoulder. 
step, twist, reach, come back. So everything's still tall, even though we're in a lunge, we're still thinking, I gotta be the tallest I can be here. Chest is open, right? We're not hinging and bending forward. You've got lots of time to figure it all out. And if you're wobbling, that's normal. We are in a balanced position here. So that's quite usual to feel wobbly. Good. Let's go into the last warm up. So find yourself with some room on either side. We're gonna side lunge, keeping the chest tall. And we're gonna bring the shoulder blades together. This is gonna put some pressure on the gut area. So you know what to do, right? Pull it in. Wonderful. Good. Good. If you need to take a smaller step and stay a little bit taller, that's okay. We want to push the hips back and keep the stress off of the front, right? We don't want to stress out those knees. Nice and tall, belly button in. Good. Breathing. Try to keep the knee straight. Give yourself some challenge for this leg as you come in. If you need to bend it, it's okay, but see if you can. Last one. So now preparing for the workout. It's level one or two of a three level system. Equipment you will need. You will need a mat. You will need your body weight. You might choose to have a couple of plates or light dumbbells, not necessary. Uh, we'll need a roller foam roller for the stretch and we're giving two rounds of work one minute of work 20 minutes recovery and make sure your form and technique is excellent before you consider adding weight to the exercises so let's begin I'm gonna use a little bit of weight for this first one so sumo squat and three delt T raises three two one and up or if you really want to push it and work those legs, recover, but don't stand. Good. So breathing. In and out. So I'm kind of keeping two beats, breath in, two beats, breath out. And if you need to, please rest. So you're coming up, squeezing the glutes, almost pressing the hips forward because we're trying to activate the back side of the body. Excellent. Good. All right, last one. So I'm going to lose the weights for this next one. Turn sideways so you can see me. Split stance. I'm going to row the boat opening the chest, bringing the shoulder blades together. And then I'm going to lift the knee. And to make it easier, I'm going to step in. So you choose the movement pattern. Try to get tight through these muscles here so that you're not moving all around and using momentum. And you're just focusing on being tight, breathing. So this is round one of two. So as you go, you're learning about your body, learning about the exercises, and learning what you might change. Breathing. So I'm bent over. I could be bent over more. That's up to you. You really want the weight in the front heel and not the toe. So just judge your body, pulling your belly in, shining your heart. 
And last one. Coming up, pulling the belly in as we stand. Of course, we need to do the other side now. So if you had some weight, you were really starting to feel it, feel free to put those weights down. So just see where you're at. You could throw them on the floor in front of you, even during the exercise. Pull, pull. So this side, I'm gonna try my knee up, but this is my weaker side. I like to kick my hip out and I shouldn't. So on my weaker side, it might be better for me just to tap my toe in and focus on good form. Also, this side likes to rock and roll and twist. So I need to think about getting tighter through this supporting leg and squeezing the whole abdomen area, holding it in. And pull that hip in. Okay, Coach Candace, pull your hip in, come on. Breathing in, breathing out. Look at your knee. Make sure it's not caving in. Good work. Okay, shake it out. Third exercise. We are lifting the knee and you can abduct or you can just lift the knee and we're gonna lateral raise. We're using the stomach muscles to join in. We're using the stomach muscles to lift that knee either way. So the supporting leg can have a soft bend in the knee. Breathing in and out. Two breaths in. Actually, I meant breath in for two beats and breath out for two beats. We're just on one side, notice. Good, getting taller and taller and nice and strong and stable and quiet through that supporting leg. Good, if you're feeling it in the front of the shoulder, really activate those upper back muscles and get tall and tighten the stomach. Last one, excellent. So we recover and we do the other side. I think I'll put my weights down for this second set of this exercise. Realign, good posture, soft knees, belly in, shoulders back. Just a few more seconds and we'll do the other side. Good. It really allows you to focus on form when you don't have the weights and you can still get a phenomenal workout. Breathing in for two beats, breathing out, and thinking positive here. So if you're a beginner, you're gonna be starting to breathe heavy and get tired. You may not be used to that, that's okay. Try not to quit. Really keep finding ways to do something, maybe modify even yet what I'm showing you, but to keep moving, keep breathing, and really give your something, yourself something to feel proud of. It's difficult when things are new, but even by the next time you work out, you'll, you'll be better at it and you'll know what to expect. Last one. So moving on to this next exercise, I'm gonna use a little bit more weight for this one. Remember I showed you in the warm up this, the lunging side to side. So this time we're not gonna lift up and over. We're just gonna skate to the side. Three times we're gonna tricep kick back and then shift to the other side. Two, one, shift. So again, we don't want pressure on the kneecaps. So chest is tall and we push the hips back behind the heels. You're gonna feel a drag or pressure on the low back. So pull that low abdomen in tight, hold it in. Good. Three, two, 
One, try to keep the elbows high. And if you really want to work hard, don't bring the weights forward and have a rest. Don't let them come in front of your hips. Wonderful breathing. Keep it up. Last one, three, two, one. Good. No weight required for this next one. It's a good challenge. So again, feet hip distance apart. We're going to kick the hips back, pull the belly in, lengthen, pull the shoulders back into their sockets, and doggy paddle. So go to your happy place here. Maybe think about when you first learn to swim, the feel of the cool, crisp water, soothing and relaxing. Breathing in for two beats, breathing out for two beats. Try to keep making your body longer. So kick those hips back and reach through the middle fingers. If you need to be a little taller, no worries here. That's absolutely fine. See if you can pick up your toes because we don't want the weight forward, right? That's when you get into trouble with your knees. So hugging the bum with those muscles. Breathing in, opening the chest, shining that heart, shine it open. And come up, pull the belly in, roll it up safely. Wonderful, moving on to our next exercise. Feet can be hip distance apart. If you wanna work hard, feet are together. Turn the palms back and circle three times behind you. Three, two, one. If you want to have a little respite in between, up to you. Three, two, one, or relax. Okay, I'm gonna sneak my feet together here. Just leave a little room for those ankle bones. Breathing in. So you can see I'm, I'm working hard. One minute of workout really builds your in muscle endurance. And it's a great way to work out when you're trying to repair, restore, and strengthen the back. Rather than lifting heavy weight, right? So here we are enduring together, getting through it together. Keep shifting those hips back. Weight's gonna keep sneaking forward on you. Good, last one. Excellent work. Heading to the ground now. So, here we go. Just gonna shift my mat, sorry. Here we go. So we're gonna lift. And you can hold, if you're a beginner, this is a great place for you to be pushing the hips as high as you can get them, digging into the floor with the backs of the arms and shoulders and even the shoulder blades. Or feel free to toe tap, hinging from the hip. Now you'll notice this supporting leg is really the one doing the work. This one's just freely moving on the hinge of the hip. If you need a break, you want something in between these two exercises, feel free to use this supporting side to push and then come all the way down. Or you could go up and down, but not fully rest. Or try to hold your body and pelvis, push it up as high as possible, using the arms, the upper back. Good, let's have a rest before we tackle the other side. So I know you can do this. This is where it gets tough. We're almost done this first round though. Okay, so tell yourself, modify if you need to. If you bring the foot in closer to your bum, it will be easier as well. Here we go. So hips can just hold both feet down, remember, or you can rest in between each hinge of the moving leg, right? Or you can just lower the hips a little and raise them. 
So I'm going to activate more of my upper back and arms because I need to call 911 here for a little assistance. So that would be my upper back and arms. Breathing in is also calling 911. So get that oxygen going. And also your attitude is calling 911. So smile, think happy, positive thoughts. We're almost there. Breathing in, breathing out. Last one, excellent work. Flipping over, coming into an elbow plank. So elbows under shoulders, knees are wide. Show you a couple options here, okay? Here we go, ready? We're going up to toes, five, four, three, two, one. Drop the knees for two beats. Option two is three, two, one, and four beats, three, two. So it's a little bit more rest. Option three, step across and lower the knees. It's a little harder. So see where you're at. You need to be able to hold the abdomen in to the spine and keep your body nice and level. So if your butt is drooping or it's way in the air or you're all over the place with your core, really want to focus on keeping it still here. Head is neutral, so we're not bending the neck up or down, looking at our toes. Good, last one. Fabulous last exercise, folks. Front core exercise, back exercise. So legs come up. Arms are hovering overhead, not touching the floor. We're flutter kicking or bent knees flutter kicking. And it will be harder if you push your knees away from the midline. So just see where you're at. But of course, the most important thing is you can have your head lifted to also work the upper abdominals. Or you can have head down. But the important thing is that your back is pressing into this mat. If your back is arching away, and I can see daylight even a little bit underneath it, then you could be hurting your back and you're not working your abs as hard as you could or should be. So just breathing through this last 15 seconds, seeing where you are. I'm gonna try lowering my legs a bit, but have my head on the ground. So you see there's tons of options here. You don't need to quit. You can bend those knees, you can pull the knees in. Last one, good. Round one, done. We're on to round two. So I think I'm gonna go back to the, my lighter weights for that first one, that sumo squat with three delt T raises. Here we go. Three, two, one. And again, if you need to come out of this squat, if your knees are caving in, please, be safe, right? That's fine. Come up, use it as an opportunity to work the glutes. We're all pulling in our belly here, right? We all are, regardless of which form we're using here. I'm gonna stay low for the rest. Feel like pushing it today. So I'm pulling my knees open pulling my belly in and I'm shifting my weight back behind my shoes. See, I can lift my toes just a bit. Good, keep breathing. We're almost done this one. Beautiful, last one. Good, no need for any weight with this next one. So I think I'll start on my weaker side. This is row, toe touch using the stomach to pull the knee up. The more I bend over, the more I work for the core. Join me now. 
Good. Get tight in that supporting leg. Try to line up your hip, your knee, your ankle. It's tough. They all want to flare out, especially if there's a problem, weakness, whatever. I've got one leg a little bit longer than the other, so that tends to affect me. Shine that heart. Open it up. Good. Feel that good body of yours. Giving you a hand. Showing you what it can do. It's impressive. It got you here. Good. And we're going to try and hold you here. Smiling and breathing. We're almost there. Great work, folks. Great work. Last one. Come up, pull the belly in, roll it up. So just resting, getting ready for the other side of that row. And remembering that your core activation is going to be very important. So I'm just switching to my other leg. We're going to pull, open the chest. Really smile with that chest. Using your gut to pull the knee up. And if I put a pop can between your shoulder blades, you'd be crushing it right now. Good. Using the stationary leg to really tighten the core. So stay still on that stationary leg side. Keep breathing through it. If you want to work a little harder, seeing if you can bend a little lower. Keeping the weight in the heel of the front foot, not the toes, right? Keep the weight shifted back. Breathing in, breathing out. And last one. Good. Pulling the belly and rolling it up. Next one. A little bit of weight here. So lateral stretch works the upper back. It's a good idea. I'd like to get a little bicep work in. So I might do both today. So it'll be up, out, in, and you choose, or it can be up and down. Remember, your stomach truly is the muscle pulling that knee up. Think that, and it will happen. I'm gonna add in the abduction for some hip work, some glute work. Breathing and lengthening that spine, which goes right into the head, right? Doesn't stop just at the neck. So get tall. Beautiful. Dialed into your breath. Dialed into that positive vibe. So keep that positive vibe going. You're doing amazing. Just by staying and doing the workout, you've already won. Inhale. Exhale. I'm getting wobbly. i got to tighten that stationary leg last time. And we get to recover before we do the second side. You might want to change your weights or have no weight. Remember, no weight is just great if that's where you can pay attention to all of the techniques and cues that I'm giving. Here we go. Back to lateral raise. So feel free. You can do that bicep curl, or you can, and you don't have to do this hip abduction. You can just stick with the knee lift. Focus on tightening those stomach muscles. But together, we're going to finish this exercise. Beautiful. So we're on round two, exercise three. Fantastic. Wonderful, folks. Breathing in, breathing out. Good work. Stay positive. A few more seconds and we're done. Good. 
Exercise four, skaters lunges with those tricep kickbacks. So a little bit of room right and left. Three kickbacks, elbows high, shift, and try not to lift up like so as we come over. So find a level you can scoot horizontally across that. Keep that chest open. Keep lots of room for oxygen, but more importantly, posture, right? Support the low back, pull in the belly, and push your bum behind your feet. Breathing in, excellent work. You're rocking it, everybody. I love it, elbows high. The second round really makes you feel amazing. You really realize what it takes, what your brain has to do to keep you in the game, right? You can't lose focus, you can't give up. That's not an option. So keep focusing on that joy of the amazing rush you're getting of those endorphins. Next one, simple but hard. So we're gonna bend over, push the hips back, lengthen, pull the shoulders back to their sockets, and we're gonna paddle. So we're trying to gain as much length here as we can. Beautiful. Lots of length. Reaching longer and longer, but shoulders still pulled back into their sockets. If you feel this is easy, see if you can bend over more. It becomes harder to keep those arms up high. So just find your sweet spot and go for it. Find your happy face and think about why you're doing this. Because the reason for exercise is what's going to help you stick to it when it gets tough. So really focus on your purpose here. Make sure that it's your own purpose, right? And relaxing, breathing in, rolling up, rounding the spine, pulling the belly in. Next one, we're going to work a little bit of everything, the whole body. So harder is feet together, easier feet hip distance apart, not too wide. Palms face back and we circle three times. Three, two, one. 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 One, three, two, one. Breathing in. Remember, if you're getting tired, feel free to take that little stand. So if you're standing, you maybe you only want to do two circles. If you're staying seated, maybe you want to do three and a little extra work. Breathing in, breathing out, good. And coming up, getting ready for the ground. So we're into that bridge pose. So remember, lots of options here. We just want you to keep going. So hips are up, arms are long, and toe taps. Feel free to rest if you need to. Feet and knees and hips should be in a pretty straight line. Just have a look down. If you need to, you can always move that foot in closer to the bottom. Nothing wrong with that. Good. So the stationary leg is pushing you up. You're not pulling with the other leg. It's just moving from the hip joint. Toe is pointed. Toe tap. Breathing in. Boy, does this ever strengthen the hamstring muscles. 
super exercise, both for the low back, upper back, and back of the legs. And judging by the amount I'm sweating, burning lots of calories too. So let's finish with that side. Have a little rest and regroup. Get that smile happening in your brain. Think happy thoughts. Smile right from your toes. Here we go, get ready for the other side. Lifting the hips and you choose your position. Resting in between each lift or just both feet on the ground, pushing the hips, squeezing the glutes, holding or as I am, moving the toe, moving from the hip joint really. Breathing in. Okay, once again, this is one where you really need to be tough on yourself. Okay, positive, but tough. So make it easier if you need to, but don't quit here, okay? So breathing in, breathing out. You are gonna get stronger, I guarantee it. This exercise is killer amazing. And you'll be so happy when you can show your friends what you can do with this exercise. They'll be super impressed. Breathing in, breathing out, and on that side. Flipping over, elbow plank is next. Elbows under shoulders, knees are wide. Remember all the options, you can go up onto your wide plank toes and hold, pulling the belly in for three seconds or four, three, two, one and down for four, three, two. To make it harder, we go up, five, four, three, two, one, and down only for two. Harder again, step, back, down. Step, across, come back, and down. This is the hardest by far. We wanna stay quiet everywhere. Very minimal movement, which means pulling in the belly no matter what modification you're using. I'm gonna go back to hold five. Down for two. And up for six. Pulling the belly in hard. Squeezing the glutes. Good, and we're done that. On to the last one of round two. Woo! Here we go. So, you choose. If you wanna work upper abs, arms overhead, but head lifted. Neck soft, flutter kick. Little easier, bent knee flutter kick. Little easier, head down. Right, you choose. What's the most important thing? Did you remember from round one? Pushing that back into the ground is gonna be the most important thing. Good, breathing. Breathing in, breathing out. Good, keep the breath going. Fabulous. Arms are straight. If at any time you need to lower your head, to keep that pressure of the back pushing down, that's more important. So I'm gonna lower my head here. Maybe lower my legs just for the last little bit here. Breathing, smiling, breathing out. And you're done. So now, we get to stretch and unwind. So we'll be using a foam roller. It doesn't have to be a nubby one like this one. And we're gonna place it around the mid back, mid to low back. And just make sure, this is a dynamic stretch that we're doing. So we're moving through the stretches. We're not holding statically. 
Make sure that you're going at your pace and breathing fully. So here we go. Hands behind the head, exhaling, drooping down, allowing the body to fully sink and relax. Don't hold the midsection of the back up. Breathing in. Exhaling. Opening and letting those elbows fall down and back. Inhaling. Good. And we're going to move the foam roller up just an inch. Exhale. Let everything fall heavy. Inhale. It's tempting to try and hold the back up off the roller, but allow that back just to sink. You might pick up your hip bones and get the meat of your bum out from underneath you. Breathing in. Exhaling. Moving that foam roller up one more time. Exhale. Let yourself sink into the mat, into the roller. Pull in the belly button. Inhale. Bring the elbows together. Exhale, let it fall back and down. Good, rolling the foam roller up one last time. Maybe finding those sore points in between the shoulder blades high up. Exhale. Inhale, bring the elbows together. Exhale. Allow everything to release. You might feel and hear some popping from tightness. That's okay. Wonderful. Rolling up. Putting this to the side. We won't need this anymore. Extending one leg. We're going to reach across the body, pushing against the leg, reaching back. And then we're going to counter twist, inhale tall, and use the stomach muscles to twist and look back, dropping the shoulders. Good. And let's reach back, reach across, and fold over, flexing the foot. And then inhale, lifting tall through the back of the head. And exhale, twist, using the core muscles to turn the body back. Dropping the shoulders away from the ears. One more time, reaching. And almost done this one, last one. Let's change sides. So see, we have a long time, even though we're flowing through these, we have a nice, generous time to take time to think about shoulders, stomach, length, legs, and flexing the foot. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Drop the shoulders, exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, tall. Exhale, twist. Drop your shoulders away from the ears and down. Wonderful. Next stretch. Laying back, stretching one leg long, flexing the foot. Let's pull that knee in. Don't push on the kneecap. And then if you wish, you can rest your foot on the other leg, drawing the knee across the body. Palm faces up and then gather the knee in. As you exhale, Reaching across, perhaps you want to do so with a straight leg. Coming back. And then exhale, 
I like a straight leg. I feel more of a stretch through the low back. But you listen to your body. And if you need that bent knee, foot on the other leg. That's what you do. Relaxing the opposite shoulder into the floor. And let's change sides. Stretching and lengthening. I'm going to start with my knee bent. Palm faces the ceiling and opposite back of the shoulder. Just rests in the floor. Hugging the knee in, flexing and lengthening through that long leg. to the low belly. And if you feel not so graceful here because you're tight, that's okay because you will improve just by doing these stretches. You'll get a little bit more fluidity, mobility, flexibility. Good. Next exercise is my favorite. Take the legs wide and if this is hard for you, you can bend the knees and just push forward. And then we're going to curl through the spine, pull the belly in, press the arms along, and then pull the legs back if you're tight, straightening the knees. And we're going to use momentum to come up and push forward. Roll through the spine, pull the belly in, hold your thighs if you need to. And if you're more flexible, coming in to plow, straight knees, rolling down, coming up, pushing forward. Open the heart and chest, and back. Last time. Stretching through the heels, stretching the backs of the legs. Good. Coming into low lunge. Ankle and knee in a straight line. We don't want that knee forward, stressing out the knee joint. Take the back leg back. And if this is a good stretch for the front of the hip, stay here. Pull the abdominals in, squeeze the glute muscles for a deeper stretch. You can stay here, or you can side reach, pulling open in the front, pushing open and reaching to the side, and then chest stretch. And reach, and back. Just breathing nice and easy here. Keep pulling the abs in and squeezing the glutes. And then we change sides. And yes, one side is always tighter than the other. Oh, for me, it's this one. And opening the chest, stretching the front of the shoulders, pulling in the abs. You can stay right here. Or you can pull apart. Pull down. Ooh. Pull apart. Pulling the stomach in, squeezing the butt. This is a chance to celebrate your body, your soul, your spirit, your mind, your life's purpose and meaning. A time to say, hey, congratulations on working so hard today and accomplishing something really important and amazing. And then we'll change to the next exercise half forward fold. 
So from here, hamstring stretches, open chest, flat back. So I can't come very far. My foot is flexed. I place my hand under my shoulder in the back, point my toe, and I push up in a spiraling gait, pushing the top hip up to the ceiling and reaching back. So let's flow through these two. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Next time, let's do a stretch that engages more a stretch for the low back. So we allow the back to round, we let the shoulders droop away, and we come up to spiraling gait, and then we change sides. So I'm gonna continue rounding the back, stretching the low back here instead of the hamstrings so much. Make sure that hand is underneath the shoulder. Rounding the back. Let those ears, ears, shoulders relax away from the ears. Pushing this hip up to the ceiling. I'll go back to hamstring stretch here, breathing in and spiraling gait, pushing higher each time, pulling back each time. And let's finish it off. Wonderful. Good. Butterfly. So, outer edges of the feet come together, and we put the hands behind the hips and drop the shoulders, opening and shining the heart. And then we do a figure four, seated. And you can lean back if you're particularly tight, trying to push the knee away from the face, and then back into butterfly. Your knees may be way up here, and you may want to do this to sit tall. That's fine. Same side. If you're not, you might want to scooch your bum towards your heel if you're nice and loose in the hips, outer hips, and push on the thigh, not the knee joint. And back to butterfly. And figure four. Changing sides. Dropping the shoulders down away from the ears. Yeah, it's tempting, isn't it? When we feel that stretch, it's sort of an automatic reaction to do this, shrug the shoulders up. So that's why we breathe and we release the muscles. We give them permission to just soften and melt. Breathing in, breathing out. Maybe once you want to try pushing if you need it, if you're particularly loose in those outer thighs. And our last stretch, just find a comfortable, easy seated position. You could be here could be here, feet flexed. We put the hands on the shoulders and pull the elbows together, back and down, pulling in the belly button. We drop the chin and we bring our nose into the armpit. And then we come to center and reset. Drop the chin, nose into the other armpit, pulling the shoulders back and down and coming to center and rise. Exhale, bring the ear over the shoulder, rolling the shoulders back and down. Use your fingertips to, as biofeedback to roll those shoulders back and down. 
Inhale through center. Exhale. Ear over the other shoulder. Come to center. Inhale. Exhale. Ear over the shoulder. And now the corner of the chin lifts up to the ceiling to stretch the front of the neck and the shoulder. Good. Rolling to center. Inhale to lift the head. Exhale. Drop the chin. Ear over shoulder. Corner of the chin lifts on the other side. And we roll to center. Inhale to lift. And we begin to prepare for meditation. If you cool off when you lie still and breathe, grab socks or sweater. Think about whether you want to sit, sometimes sitting in butterfly or easy pose, relaxing those shoulders is nice. Sometimes laying on the back, if you have a lot of low back pain, you might choose to put feet together and rock side to side. You might choose to grab your knees and just rock side to side. You might choose to bring the soles of your feet together and just allow them to fall, your knees to fall open. Or who knows, you may stretch your legs out, pull out the meat of your bottom, pull it out from underneath you so your back isn't arching up. And you can also, if it doesn't bother your low back, have your feet apart. So just see where you're at and taking the arms, palms face the ceiling and finding a place for that head where it can just relax and let go. So head up and down, releasing the neck. And today, let's begin by interlacing the fingers and the thumbs, just placing the hands on the low belly. We're going to breathe in to the count of 10. And if you breathe in and you get to five or six or four, just hold still and calm until we get to the count of 10. And then as we breathe back out for 10, same thing, if you breathe out and you're finished before we get to one, then just hold calm with just very relaxed and peaceful weight. Beginning in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, filling up with breath and 10, and exhale, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, filling up. Holding till you get to the count of 10. And exhale. to the midsection. Same pattern, relaxing those shoulders away from the ears. Breathing in for 10 counts. upper chest. Now we unhook them a little bit. They're still touching, but we want to be able to relax those shoulders. Breathing in.
Breathing out, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Opening the arms, spinning the palms up to the ceiling, releasing the shoulders down and away from the ears. Let's breathe into the low belly one more time for 10 counts. And as we get to the count of 10, we're going to exhale and release all the muscles heavy into the into the floor. One more breath in. Get to the count of 10, exhaling and allowing all of your muscles to let go and melt into the earth. And slowly opening the eyes, rolling onto the side, cradling the head, using the top arm to push yourself up. I thank you everyone for joining me today. Please come again, check out some of the other workouts. Namaste.